<laughs> Actually, we got going, and I forgot all about the pie, and oh. and uh, we after it was over, we just sort of disbanded and. No pie. I owe you a triple berry pie, then. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> what a shame. What a shame. It, that's okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's start. Everybody, everything is recorded and uh, not broadcasted live, so you'll have the chance to edit later. Um, um, Max, yeah. the sound is very low. I don't know if it's my side or your side. Hello, is it? Did you turn up the volume? I don't have a control over that. You have to do something on your side. Okay. Gabriel, can it's you hear good. us? Can you hear us? Hello? Gabriel? He oh. might have stepped away. Uh-oh. But uh, it looks like you heard, uh, heard uh, when... Uh, yeah, we, you discussed the pipe, so you can hear us. I, I don't have a control over your sound. Uh, that system which I'm using is okay. not, does not allow me to control that. Alright, but we can hear yeah, you fine. And you can hear me well, right? Oh, you're, you're loud, yes. You don't, you, you can yeah, you're fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I'm sorry. All right. I'm loud. No, you're not loud. You're fine. <laughs> no, you're not loud. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Thank All right. you. Alright, let's you. start again. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, we have another session. Um, what do I actually say? Um, yeah. Um, now I have two channels channeling similar information, that is Jim and Zachariah. And see our videos on humancolony.org, that is Zachariah's page now, you can donate to Zachariah. He is a, he is a great channeler and also he has, he has been to different planets, so he has first-hand experience of being there on planets and even uh, uh, driving the, uh, controlling the spaceships, so, so it's incredible. He, he, and he's real. Uh, and, and, and what we find, not everything that Lakesh says and our friends or Jim say, not everything matches what Zakaria says. There is a lot of discrepancies, like uh, numbers or specifics. And that's just the nature of reality. I'm sure Zakaria doesn't make it up. I'm sure Jim doesn't make it up. It's just a dream. We are dreaming different dreams, and most of the people we are speaking there are in different part of the reality. For them, we are just one of many parallel lines. So in this line, I have that history. In the separate line, I have a different history. And they talk to me here, but they can choose to talk to me in a parallel reality where the storyline is different and to other one. And it is quite malleable and fluid. And that's just the nature of channeling. And uh, unfortunately, we have to live with that. It's only here that everything seems to be very straightforward. If you were born at that date, you, can't be, have be, you cannot be also born another date, or you cannot have different parents. But in that new dream reality, the, the, the history is rewritten often, and the whole story whole storyline changes. It's kind of a dream. It's kind of a fairy tale. It's like in a movie, if, you know, when a movie is shot, if someone wants, if the producer wants to change the beginning because it matches better the end, they can easily do it. Cut away a piece and shoot again a new piece and you have a new history. It's hard to get used to that, but again, what matches is incredibly uh, consistent. Uh, especially when Lakesh said, said something we, don't, we didn't know and it was hard to believe. And then Zakaria says the same thing and it matches roughly and then sometimes it matches precisely. So uh, we have several cases now when uh, people report that Lakesh said something about something which is unchangeable in our world and the next time he said something else and it is the number is twofold different. Just get used to that. I mean, that is okay. It is how things are, and when, and it is also because we uh, the reality here is not real. It's only uh, okay. We are only a dream. We, when we wake up to high reality, that's real. And here we are dreaming a dream, and every one of us dreams a little bit different dream. When we dream something together, common, like Jim and I and Lisa, we kind of are more reproducible. I see Jim so often, I believe he is real. 
<laughs> and I can even touch him, and I can even touch that microphone, I can mop a microphone, it's for real, and you believe it's real, and I believe it's real. So when people know something together, it becomes more solidified, it manifests more boldly. So this thing manifested, that sound manifested. But what uh, Jim and Zachariah hear from other dimensions is only manifested only in my Jim's lives and those on the side who listen to us. So it's not fully, fully manifested to the whole humanity, to billions of other souls. They don't dream the same dream we do. They don't dream the same dream we dream. Yes? All right. That's the introduction. Anything else? Today we invite <coughs> Jesus is our superstar. We love Jesus. He is very welcome. Archangels, other high energies, Buddha, Muhammad, anybody, any of those energies are welcome. Uh, important messages are... Oh, I know what's happening. When I say that echoes me in a very funny sound, I will turn a little down. All right. Uh, I guess any important messages from from, uh, from uh, higher dimensions would be welcome. I don't have... Uh, we invite alien poetry, uh, alien blessings, prayers, higher dimensional poetry and so on. And. Uh, I will learn more about different species and extraterrestrial stories about draconians, a lot of other draconians. So any benevolent entities are welcome, the ones which wouldn't harm Jim. That's about it. All right. Uh, I will start playing and Jim, you're welcome to. Everything is recorded, everything is on set, is set. And we have today, we have two people uh, participating from, uh, from other places remotely via internet. Uh, so first we'll go to the theater whenever questions are invited, if it is like Ash. But uh, we'll let them, you know, whoever comes, we will welcome.
Maxwell. Max. Ah, uh, hello. It is not Maxwell. Yeah, you can call me Maxime. It will be alright. <laughs> is it Tucker? Yes. Hello, Tucker. Good morning. Good morning. Lakesh is in class. I see. He he's asked me to come in his place. Is he expected to come later or not? I do not know. Excellent. Thank you for coming through. Uh, do you have any updates? I am just aware of more contact information. They are still working on first contact, but it will be in 2015 at this time. Yes. And we are aware that we are continually pushing it back. But this is only for the good of your people. They will be much more accepting if more information is given before that time. Are you looking at other parallel realities? How many parallel realities are you communicating actively with? Myself or Greg Yourself. Fichtnir? Yourself. Myself, I am looking at four different realities. Are we all equal, all four, and we are just one of four? You are in all four. Uh, the whole earth is in all four, and equal, you're equally paying attention to these four realities? We are mostly paying attention to the middle two. So we are in the middle two? You are. All right. Um, any of these four are already have a contact occurred? No. I see. Uh, and Gork Vitnir is looking at many more parallel realities? Gork Vitnir looks at many parallel realities, especially especially the Arcturians check many alternate realities daily. So uh, in many of them uh, the first contact already occurred? First contact has not occurred except in much later realities as far as I can understand. Okay, how, how did it go there? I am not aware of the consequences. Right. Um, we have Lisa with us. Um, Hello. For the, can you introduce yourself for the new viewers on YouTube? Just a couple words. I am Tikur the Lyran. I am on the ship that travels around the North American continent. I help with weather anomalies, seismic anomalies, and other things that affect human life. We are trying very hard to keep things safe at this time. Things will calm down in about 50 years, but until then, we need to keep an eye on the weather, especially, and seismic and volcanic phenomenon. How do you combine your being on a ship with uh, being a secretary and organizer on, in the colonies? I get most of the information to analyze. I am more of an analyzer than I am an active changer of weather. But I do analyze it and give them ideas and formulas for change. How, how do you... So the, the colony is not on your ship, isn't it? No. How do you or, uh, manage the colonies being organized in the colonies while being away? I have much contact 
Is it uh, technological or could yes. it do naturally just I, sense things? It's technological contact with the people most involved in colonies at this time. Do they give you reports over technological means? Yes. I see. Do you have telepathic connection as well? There are times when telepathic connection is necessary to glean full understanding. How, how much of the time are you physically in the, in the colonies? I go there periodically. Your timetable is not involved. I see. Um, how many people from the website have been taken to the colonies? Eight. How do they do? Most do fairly well. Only one has been... One has been returned. Others cycle back and forth? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes, I guess first, Sephira is busy with something. So, Lisa, do you have your questions, uh, your personal questions? Personal questions. Yeah. Um, Lisa, yes. it is nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Tikar. Okay. I'm wondering, is there anything that humans can do to help with the weather? By, the medicine? weather is out of human control. For the most part, you have scientists there that understand what is happening, but do not have the means by which to control or change what's happening in any major way. They can do seeding of clouds and change some things slightly. We have means that would alter some by at least 20%. This is the most we are allowed to alter any weather situation, seismic situation, or emergency situation, because otherwise it would be too obvious, even to earthlings, that th something has changed. Mm -hmm. They are already aware of the changes in the seasonal weathers, it is obvious that it is changed, but they do not see that you could have been at 50 below zero just recently. These kind of things you do not see. Do we need to support um, Gaia or, you know, the heart of Mother Earth in some way to you help her? always must thank Gaia for her gifts. She has been abused, and whenever you have energies that are negative, give them to her as a gift so that she can recycle them and reuse them. Gaia is alive. Each planet is a living organism in itself. Thank you. You are welcome. Any more questions? Um, not at this time. Let's continue with the first questions from Slava Nava is our great uh, supporter. He or she draws beautiful pictures and shares it on the website and it brings to our website a lot of positive energy. What and was the name? Slava Nava. Na Slava Nava. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know this person? One moment. Read the question. The first question from Slava Nava is, I would like to ask about my hybrid child, Alyosha. 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 What would you like to know? Um, how old he is, how he lives, what he is doing, what he loves, and what civilization he represents. 
That is many questions. Yes. <laughs> I will give you some information. I am aware of Alyosha. I do not know much about him, except that he is in a different time dimension than you are, than your time dimension. Your hybrid child has been moved to a different dimension for reasons of growth. He is older than you might imagine. He is in his 30s by your standards. Okay. You might find that impossible, but it is true. He is a representative from Era to Plenda. Plenda is a place where they are training him interdimensionally. He represents more than one culture because he is a double hybrid. That is all I can tell you. Thank you. What the uh, Plenda, what star system is that? Plenda is in the Sirius star system. Which of the Sirius? I do not know which one. I know that's where they sent him. The Sirius star How system. How the Plenda, uh, Plenda, Plenda. look like? How the people of Plenda look like? I have not been there. All right, thank you. Please continue. The next question from Slava Nava is, what percent ET DNA does he have, and with what civilizations does he have the strongest connection? It's about Slava. Slava, Slava Nava. You have 11% hybrid DNA, Pleiadian and Yil. 6% and 5%. 6% Pleiadian, 5% Yayil, which is fairly high. Yeah. What civilizations, how, oh, as he already answered, what is his spiritual connection? If, which uh, civilization race if from, from the past lives he would be most connected to? Past lives, one moment. He is connected to Plenda in the future. Very good. Uh, is he monitored by a specific civilization? Yes. Right yes. One? He is monitored by Pleiadians from Grukvik near. Thank you. Please continue. Um, the third question is more of an experience um, from Slava Nava. He says, about two years ago in Channeling State, I was in the constellation of Pleiades. I feel that it is Pleiades. It was a beautiful planet similar to Earth with forests and oceans. Yeah. I feel that I am blue and I have on this planet a daughter. Is the daughter's name Avelia or Leia? Is this right? I am not sure where you found your information. Avelia is the correct name. Thank you. Tell me more about your age, appearance. Avelia is 15 years of age on earth wise. What is your percentage of hybridization? That's rough. human or? 20% Pleiadian. Uh-huh. In which culture is she growing up? Aaron culture. Thank you. Uh, please continue. From Slava Nava, he also says, also I feel that we are very close to nature and spiritual development. We uh. could, We could travel without ships. The feeling of freedom and fullness. Some weeks later, I become to familiar state to get to know who I am on this planet. I asked myself, and the answer was Lirens. Is this so? I am Liren. We travel without ships as well by interdimensional travel. This is what he is 
experiencing. Mm. I am fortunate to know that Lyran culture is advanced enough to Excuse me. Yes. Yikropoha. Dear. He is correct. We'll leave it there. Thank you. Uh, do, do, do you have to go? If you're busy, we can, uh, we can go. We can continue at some other time. One moment. Hello, who are you? Hello, hello. Oh, it's Lakesh right oh, here. Hello, I'm sorry I couldn't be earlier, but I had things I had to do. What was that? I was in a class. What, what did you learn there? What did you study there? Oh, many things, but m mostly microbiology. Oh. How is microbiology these days on your planet? I don't understand. How? Is the state of micro? Is it fun on your planet these days? Yes, it's fun. Did you? Uh, can you share any specifics of what you did? Just, just for fun. Mm, not really. I'm still learning. Did you use microscopes and pipettes? I don't know what those are. <laughs> did you go inside the cells and so? Yes, 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 yes. There, there. We knew. We have used holographic images, and we can go inside those as well. The fear is living soon, so I will give you a chance to speak to you. The fear is Lakesh, and the air is yours. Safira. Hello. Hello. Good. And how are you? Oh, sorry? And how are you? I'm um, so so because yesterday you gave me some bad news. Yes, I, I am I sorry. I need to know I need to know more about I need to know more about it. Do you do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. And I will talk so to you I, about that. I do Do you want it to be public? Well, it's okay. I yeah, it's okay if it's public, yeah. Very well. She was cut short. There was a problem and it was an accident with technology. But if it's an accident, she couldn't have known ahead of time. Because you, you mentioned that she sort of knew something was happening, so she came to visit me. Sometimes we have... Yes. Sometimes we have premonitions of things, but yet we have to do them anyway. This is what happened. What, what do you mean? How could there... What kind of tech... Um, excuse me for Lisa and Max and everybody. We're talking about my spiritual... My um, hybrid daughter, who apparently passed away from alien body to spirit, and I heard, it's just like a shock for me to hear that yesterday in a private session with Jim. So uh, as the day went on, I got more and more upset about it, and I thought, how is that possible on, on the planet that somebody can die so young? I didn't it's, think it was even possible. It is possible, yes. Not often happens, but it is possible.
Yeah, so why did it happen to Shoshana? Can you please explain more what, when you mean technical ac- accidents? There was a technical problem and it exploded. No amount could save her, unfortunately. How is her spirit? Is she Oh, well, she is fine. She is in spirit state, yes. So the spirit was intact? Yes. She is fine. Is she but cremated any time she? But she will come back. Come back as what? I do not know. As a new baby? And I do not know how it works with sh- her. I see. Uh, so, you know, it, it was very inspiring for me to have somebody part of the Universal Galactic uh, She will be well Federation remembered. She will be well remembered. Do not be... Do not be sad. She will be well remembered, and she has much to give to her people, even beyond her death. Can you speak with her now? No, I cannot. I see. Will you be able to speak with her later? I am grieved for you. Thank you. It's very sad. I, I, yeah. Um, look, you, if I volunteered for the, if I volunteer, oh, did I, Max? Did you ask a question? I'm sorry. Do you have a prayer which uh, you would normally say in that situation? Yes, it's very private. I have already said it. Okay. Uh, so if I volunteer for the hybrid program, so that I can have another <laughs> daughter or son in, you will in be, body and spirit, will, you will that work? Yes, you will be. You will be contacted again. Okay. However, yesterday or not yesterday, in your last talk, and Jim's last talk with one of the reptilians, the reptilian said that if we agree to volunteer for hybridization, where it means we agree to anybody, including them, and this was a situation that wasn't so clear yet. So I'm not sure I want to volunteer if it means being open to any being who feels like just, taking some DNA from me. Just be specific when you volunteer. Who that you want to volunteer for. If you leave it open-ended, it will be taken as an open invitation. However, if you say you would like Grokvik near to use your DNA. Only Grokvik near can use that. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, how fast, do, how fast do, do people grow there? Like when a child is born, do they grow as a human rate or do they grow faster? They can control their rate of birth at birth. After a certain period of time, they are given a chance to grow quickly or slowly, depending on how they want to perceive things. They can also go back slightly in their past. It, it's a very interesting scenario for hybrids because they can do things that are not usually done. But they can... Ex- sell their growth if they so choose. Peter grew oh, that's nice. in, uh, in seven or eight months, he grew to the age of 15. So, wow. So, uh, awesome. And he's had to slow down, he intentionally slowed down his growth because he wanted to experience more of childhood in more of a normal rate, so he slowed it down. He wanted mm-hmm. to go faster. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Lakesh, I have a few questions from my daughter, Jessica. May I ask them, them, please? Continue. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica would like to know, uh, there is a remote viewer. His name is Ed James. He's a very well-known remote viewer. Are you familiar with that term? Remote. Please explain. What it's remote. Uh, people who can, they, they, 
they project themselves into the future with their mind. Ah. And they try and view future events. Yes. Oh, um, I understand. So they now, predicted yes. that the. Okay, thank you. They predicted that the um, the the uh, leader of North Korea will use a nuclear missile this year, and my daughter um, is concerned about what's happening in Korea. Not only because she lives there, but because she's been involved many years with the culture and with the trying to create peace between North and South Korea. So, do you see? Do any of when you know? foresee what's going to happen with North Korea this year? Is that a clear thing possible? I am not permitted to move into the future very far, but I do know the mental state of their leader is not good. This would yeah. <laughs> this would tend to make me think that his thoughts are violent as well and yes he perhaps may use a weapon of harm one moment it can be avoided Um, the governments are aware of, the governments are aware of his mental state and so they are watching him very closely and there are people around him that are not his people that will be able to know if something is happening at least they okay. will be there within minutes Thank you. Um, she would also like to know what the reptilians have. Why are the reptilians interested in influencing him? Do they want to have power through him? Or she doesn't understand the motivation of the reptilians in this. Reptilians are not for earthlings, they are for their selves. If they find something of value that they want, they will use others to help themselves get it. There must be some. There must be something of. Uh, I'm sorry. There must yeah. be something of value that they want. I see. Okay. Value to value to them. Value to them only. So if there's gold buried beneath North Korea, they will try and take over the country. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to understand. If they out for themselves, what do they have to gain? Mm. If they attack South Korea, for example. You would have to ask... You would have to ask the reptilians. I do not know what they are searching for or what their desires for, but I do know that they have specific plans for themselves that they do not share. Now, mm -hmm. to understand what the reptilians want or why they would use such a demented individual for their plans, it is similar to what they have done in other planets to get things that they need for their growth. They particularly need more fertile areas for their children. I see. Thank you. When, when my daughter Shoshana had the accident, was anybody else injured? Unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One moment. May, may I ask about... Okay, sorry.
my it was getting more difficult to speak so I changed my channeling this well, is much thank better thank you very much I, I think oh. I will let other people have their chance for questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you. Thank you. Please, you can continue to work. We have some questions from Michael Lagoni. Ah, oh, I feel much better now. But all good. Yeah. It was getting very heavy. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have some questions from Michael Lagoni from February 5th, and his first question is, what is my mission here? These are difficult questions when they ask about missions because they have more than one talent usually, and their mission is to find the one that they like the most, and the one that they can be most effective with, and then move that forward, and so you you must have an idea of what your mission is. And many of these people that talk to me about their mission are those that have great talents with other people. They seem to have communicative abilities. Does that make sense yes. to you? And this is part of what they should be doing, is sharing their talents with others. Because Ultimately, we are all going to be connected, planetary to planetary, human to human, blue to human, human to blue. If all works out the way that we should be doing, it should all connect. Yes. Wonderful answer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You may have answered that question before because I remember that beautiful <laughs> answer. So. It's I may continue to another yes. questioner. Thank you, though. No problem. We needed to hear that again. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Who is this question from? I'm not sure. It's continuing from... Oh, it's Justin. Justin. Okay. Justin. I've spoken to Justin yes. before. So Justin wants to know about the experience he had one morning. He's, oh, yes. <laughs> he said it was like sleep paralysis, but it was not. He was able to move and see, but he felt numbed as if he was being shocked. Can you explain what this experience was about? Yes, I can. There was an experiment done on Jason to, make sh to uh, check for his availability for an interview. Oh. There were certain things about him that they were interested in, and so that they did a slight physical analysis, and that would cause mm -hmm. that kind of numbness. No harm done, okay. and um, he had given permission because he would like to be interviewed to be taken. So, yes. um, so that was not an intrusion, really. It was just more of a, a an experiment on their part, which mm -hmm. they have discovered that he is in good shape to do this trip, but he has not been interviewed as of yet. All right. Hmm, I good. do not know when or if they are going to interview him. I just know these things from what I can establish from the committee. Okay. Thank you. Ah, I feel much better now. I was so drawn down for a uh -huh. bit. I'm not sure why. I felt that too. It was very It was, it was very, it was, I think the grief was yes. pulling me down. Yes. I, I feel sorry for Sophia. Oh, so do I. I am. It was not meant to happen, I do not believe. Oh. Go ahead. I have some questions from Liney. 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 Oh, great support. Yes, I've spoken She's to her. She's composing uh, the book of poetry where half of the book is your, your, your transmission. My transmissions? Yeah, the poetry which you wrote oh, yes, or yes, you yes, read yes. for us. Oh, yes. So oh, yes. Have these questions been asked yet? Uh, whatever. Uh, Lainey asks, maybe, Hybrid, I want to know if I'm one. I think you already answered. If I'm not, would be very surprised if I wasn't. 
She's a hybrid, yes. She, I've already answered, yes. Uh, past alien contact. Uh, this Duman said that I had a brief encounter where an alien species was aware of my consciousness. What was the species? Was aware of your conscious? These two said this? Yes. Let me talk to these two then. Oh. Just a moment. And also told him we didn't hear from him for centuries. Oh, okay. An unusual... Hmm. Interesting. You were... Would you read that question for him again? He is not sure if it's one person or the other. So, um, Lainey wants to know about past alien Liney. contact. Liney. Dizdu once said, Liney. I had a brief encounter where an alien species was aware of my consciousness. Yes. What was yes. the species? They were Andromedans. Oh. Uh, Andromedans, they are third dimensional and are present in the solar system, right? Yes, they are. Uh-huh. And they breathe something very weird, like yes. sulfur oxide or something of that sort. They're, yes, very much different. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, but they did make themselves aware to her consciousness. But what is un- interesting about that is they don't usually do that. And I find that very interesting. Hmm. You are very privileged. What I would like to know how you felt when they were doing this. She will answer. Give me an answer for that. I have questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> um, then she asks about the thuk, T H O O K. Can they come through Jim at some point? The thuk. I am not close to them. I do not know if they even channel with... Do they channel with anyone on Earth? They might have, because somebody else had, uh, commented, yes. We will see. I cannot answer at this time. But do you know who they are? I know who they are, yes. What shape do they have? I am not supposed to speak about the Thuk. Unless they come, they will tell you about themselves. All right. Uh, I'll would you recommend for them to go through? Uh, it wouldn't, they wouldn't hurt us if they go through. Are they good for us? I would have to check that. I'm not sure if they... E- I'm not even sure if they're able to channel through humans, but they may be able to. Okay, all right. Are they important? Not relevant, to me. Relevant to human, Earth humans. I do not believe they are actively involved to a great extent in Earth beneficiary actions. How about negative actions? I do not believe there are in any actions at all okay, thank you. that I am aware of, but I will have to check. I do, I do not know. All right. So are these questions from Kenneth? Yeah, Kenneth. All right. Okay, so let's move on to questions from Kenneth, if you'd like. He'd like to know what his frequency is. Did he already ask that? Yeah, let's skip to the next question. Okay. I think I gave that to him already. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, we have uh, duplicates. That's okay. What about Sato? Sato. Sato? Yes, we have not done Sato. Sato wants to know what his frequency is. Four point zero. Okay. Um, he feels there are beings around him. He wants to know who they are. They appear in his dream and his awake state. He can feel they're touching him during the day. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Mm-hmm. Can he? Okay. He says he can see them. I believe they are Pleiadians. Okay. He asks about his abilities. Will my abilities from childhood return? If yes, which of them? Your abilities from childhood have never left you. But they are not ready to reveal themselves again yet. But yes, they will return if you can control them properly. Yes. 
All right. Uh, so, Lakesh, now you are in an intricate situation because you already answered questions of Seika. And there was one thing which you missed when you spoke about yes. them. And what did it was that? Uh, can you look up who said it is and just correct yourself? Because so far you're very confused about who that was. Is it a human? There is a human named Seita. All right. What do you know about them? I can just know that they are a hybrid. Are they old or young? Very young. What continent are they on? European. Nice. What gender are they? Male. Here's a problem. That's, that's a female. It's a female? Yes. How can you talk, talk about all the Pleiadians if you don't know if it's male or female? For us, our gender is relatively important. Ah. Yeah. She has male thought patterns? Yes. That's why I thought she was male. All right. You screwed up, like it. <laughs> Thank you, like it. That's okay. We, we, we forgive you for now. That's okay, but what did I miss otherwise? Oh, uh, gender. Gender. Can you, can you guess a country? What country is Santa from? I do not know your country names. Uh, city. I, I, this is. I am more from studying this side of the world, but I believe if if it's from maybe France. France. Is. Yeah, looking from your planet, it's so close, but no. <laughs> is it not France? No, very far from France. It is where? I won't tell you. You'll have to guess. What's your name? Can you guess her name? No. Ah. I okay. am. You are making me. Uneasy. Yes. Whatever. Thank you. We, we believe you are real. We believe you are real. You are questioning my authority. Not authority. Uh, judgment. Your and judgment. Authority. Well, I am not perfect being. Right. We are not perfect <laughs> beings. We are not gods. We are not perfect beings. I am. I am sorry, to Sota. For your information. No apologies needed. Well, I am. Not, I am not perfect. That's okay. Let's continue with the questions. Did I get some of it right? Yes. <laughs> You're doing very well. Thank you. Have you asked questions from Simon yet? No, I don't think so. So Simon wants to know if he is hybrid. I have to reconfigure. Please do. I believe I spoke to Simon already as All well. Right. Let's continue with that. So I'm these sorry. aren't marked, I'm not sure. Do you want to look through? All right. Where is Simon? Um, right here. So Simon. All right. So that's a good girl. One more. It's very if I have answered any questions incorrectly to any of your people out there, please let me know. This concerns me. I will have to review. All right. I know like I should be inhibited for a short while, but I think it was a nice opportunity to let him know that things are not fitting well. But many others do.
Continue. Well, we have Fluffy. Do you remember Fluffy? Yes. She says, thank you, Max, Jim, and Lakesh for helping me in the last session uh, and sends kisses. Uh, taking this his advice, I've been working on my energies and had uh, a few Kundalini awakenings now. Hopefully I'm purer, no, purer now so Lakesh can read my frequency and hybrid information. Ah, yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. Fluffy, 3.9. Uh -huh. And yes, there is hybrid in her. 3% you yield. Ah, congratulations, Fluffy. Can you guess your country? Just checking. I do not know the countries. All right, the, the continent. What's the names of the continents? Asia, America, Africa, Australia, Europe. South, North America, that uh, sort of thing. I must learn these. Alright, can you guess your uh, genetic origin? Human genetic origin, race, human race. No. What's percent of Jewish DNA? Sure. Jewish DNA? Yeah. I would need help with that, just a moment. All right. It's fairly, it's about 40%. That would be strange, she's a Korean. Then I do not know what Jewish DNA is then. That's right. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say, Forty percent of wherever she's from. All right. Does no, that make sense to you? Um, so your main problem right now, yes, thank you. The main problem is that she is at school in China. Yes. She is a Korean at school in China. What can you recommend? She is really upset by the teaching system there. She oh. wants to learn interesting things, and instead she's being trained to comply. Oh. Do you have any advice for her? She's a star seed and very advanced. Star one. seed. I know star seed. I think, well, there's little that she can do about her government. It's not her government, she's a foreigner. Well, the government that she is in, All right. there's little to do about that government. Mm -hmm. She needs to move away from there. Why is she there if she is not? Well, she's if that a is young not, girl and her parents are working, I assume. And she goes to another country? They are working in another country. Ah. One moment. Is there... Other kinds of schools there? Uh, I don't know. I assume not. In China, I would assume everybody does what they're supposed to do. It's not a free country where you can pick and choose a school. One moment. Has she made her parents aware of this? Oh, she says her home life is a nightmare. Assuming that she may. The answer is yes, and her life is not mine. Family life, not mine. I wish I could help her, but I cannot. Thank you. She says, why is my vision often tilted or distorted while I'm astral traveling? Also, I have difficulty controlling my movement. 
This would be a grounding issue. Grounded. Yes, there's something, one of the emotions is not grounded. Of course. Thank you. For any symbolic meaning to gray, qu qu uh, quotation marks, grays wear yellow stockings, end of quotation mark. I received these messages in a dream last year. Grays wear yellow stockings. It's a symbol. They do not actually wear yellow stockings. Someone was speaking in code to her about yellow humans. Ah, all right. Five. Uh, also in a dream, I remember reading some text about gray beings, technology, which I forgot upon awakening. Can Lakesh tell what was what this was about? Please reread that. I remember reading some text about gray beings, technology, which I forgot upon awakening. Anything about it? What does she want to know? Oh, she wants to know about, you know, what, where did it come from? Why did she read that? She had a glimpse of something that she will reread in the future. That's all. All right, Peter, do you remember Peter? Yes. Peter from the site. Yes. Many information source said that our moon was not always there and some race has been taken it there, has taken it there to stabilize the Earth moon. Is this true? No. The moon was actually formed out of the earth when it was very young. Interesting. The moon and the earth were actually one sphere and when it was in a molten state the moon and the earth separated out from one another. Right. Divided. Okay. Does our moon have a hollow structure? There are places in the moon that do have hollow structures, and there are beings that live there as well. Beings? Which beings? They're from other areas of the universe that find the moon actually a fine place for them to live. Interesting. I cannot tell you what beings. Um, are there alien bases of the aliens who are... Involved in Earth project? On the moon? Yes. There is one or two small bases only for observation observation of the Earth. There are there are three observation points on the moon for the Earth. Uh-huh. Some are these benevolent beings or not so much? Yes, they are benevolent. I see. They're learners. They observe and learn. Many alien sources tell that the moon is a starship which is hollow inside. It's a bad starship. And I think even Bashar commented on that. And it was uh, brought to the Earth much later in very recent history. No, this is not true. All right. Uh, number two. I am researched through a long time the Earth geological structure, and I found it an interesting concept, which is called Hollow Earth Theory. Regarding this theory, some information source said that the Earth and all planet are hollow structured, and there is advanced life inside in some sense. Is it true? This is... Uh, a sphere could not continue, a natural sphere could not continue without a core. There are beings in the core of the earth, that is true. That the planets are hollow structures, there may be one that is actually a moon around Saturn that is a hollow structure and is actually a space vehicle. Other than that, I am not aware of any 
hollow planet. All right. Um, so most of the beings that live inside the Earth are in other dimensions? They are not in other dimensions, but they are bordering other dimensions. I, it's very hard to explain that you would not be able to realize that they were alive, but they are alive. Thank you. Does Lemuria exist inside the Earth? Does the what? Lemuria. Lemuria. I will say yes, and that is all I can say. Thank you. Uh, Other entrances in the polls? So much changing going on today. Whew. It's hard. Are there entrances on the poles? To the center of the earth? Yes. No. Well, Max, I must go at this time. Okay, thank you very much for your visit. I really appreciate your effort to answer the questions. Actually, we got almost to the end of the day. Hey. Hey. I will bring more. Oh, Don't want to take a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pause. Oh, that's good. <laughs>